Hello, this is Logan Murphy again, and in this video I will be showing you how to and where to place all the files important to developing for the web. So, I opened the folder that came in the zip for Eclipse, and I opened the Eclipse executable, and up came this uh, window for selecting a workspace. So, select your workspace and press OK, and Eclipse will take some time to get started. Uh, this is just going to be initializing components that are important to uh, compiling and uh, developing uh, for uh, Java and JSP and whatnot. So you're going to come to this window and go to your workbench. Now you are at this uh, screen and you have no projects here so the first thing you want to do is make a file new uh, other only because I don't think the option will be there and you're going to choose web and you're going to choose a dynamic web project okay and press next and you then you're going to choose the name for that project I'm going to call it shop and finish so we have our project now and we just gotta wait for uh, Eclipse to finish creating it you open it up and there is no web content in it so you're going to start putting web content in it and we're going to go piece by piece so we dealt with Eclipse next this is the MySQL connector that we got uh, the connector J uh, just locate that and the folder is going to be a lot more complicated than this one I just have this all by itself um, so you're looking for the .jar file you open webinf and here's your lib folder. You want to take this and copy it and pla place it right into your lib folder and copy it. And wait until it shows up so it's here now. Okay, so we're done with that. Next is Apache. We need to locate where Apache, where we put Apache. Um, the folder that Apache was in, I renamed it. Uh, so the first thing you should do in order to start up Apache, we're going to make a new uh, JSP file and um, we're going to call it index.jsp just wait a minute and it's made we're going to click on index right click it and we're going to run as and run on server and we are going to locate so we're going to open the Apache folder choose Tomcat 7 and then go next and then we're going to locate the Apache software which is in which is wherever you put it but I have to find mine which is in the computer in the compact um, let me just look here program files and it's right here we choose this folder and we know this is the right folder we know that Apache is the right folder because when we look in it and in its bin folder Tomcat7exe is right there so we know we have the right folder. Apache is what we choose. We press OK and we finish. So we finish, maximize this. Just wait a moment. That's just initializing and this will start our server. So obviously there's not going to be anything there, but we can test it by doing some standard uh, hello world here and save it come back here refresh it and here's hello world so we know our server is definitely working now so that's out of the way next jQuery so when you open the zip folder you're gonna have a JS and a CSS folder what you're gonna do is take these folders put it in your web content so web content is where you put anything that you want to be on the web pretty straightforward and take your JS and put it in your web content folder copy it and make sure everything came over. You should say the theme that you got, um, images and jQuery custom CSS, jQuery JS. Um, everything from your jQuery UI is here. So that's how you place your files and everything will be set up now for when you do anything in the future. Uh, this is Logan Murphy and I will see you next time.